because this is a pretty simple concept I wanted to explain to you all. In this episode, we're just going to talk about something called collision detection, meaning that when you move the um, the sprite, so let's just, let's just run it, run the program for as an example. When you, let's take a look at this right here, right? When you move the sprite, this guy, move him, and you go to something, it'll have a reaction. But let's say if I go to this flag right here, it says you have one plus press start to play again. Again, again. You have one press start to play again. So if we press start, I can clear that off. Me being, me being lazy, but the game starts right back up again, and you can do it as many times as you want. Now you see this is a pretty simple concept, but this has a lot of different uses. But before we get into that, we'll just go right into the code itself. So we're gonna go line by line. This uses the program from last video. So if you still have that up, you can um, go to the last video, grab that. And come back. Well, just just call it up. So there we go. The first line is the is this 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 um the first line here is a label called game. And what the label does is it just tells the program where to start. So if I want to start the game over again, I just say okay, call um go to game, right? And it'll go here, and everything will start fresh. So. Uh, this prints game on. It's not really required. We can actually delete this and it'll be working fine. That was just for testing purposes. And, and then everything is normal until we get quit. Right between the draw tile command and palettes is where I started adding some code. So I made a, um, a command that says load tiles flag. Now flag is a little graphic. Oops. I made it on tile designer here. And I exported this graphic into basic data. I generated it. I took that that code right there, um, put it right at the bottom, right under our player graphic, and I loaded it in this draw tile command at location 301. So, uh, if you can recall in the original video, we were drawing tile. We were drawing another copy of this guy as a tile, but here, instead of drawing another copy of the guy, we loaded another graphic into memory 301 instead of 300, and drew it at 2020 instead of 4-4. So if we continue, the rest is the same until we get to the loop. Now this is a pretty complex piece of code, so um, get ready. This first line right here just says whether this, this player is at the same location of the flag. So since we're drawing in tiles, and tiles are 8 by 8 screen thing, um, um, eight, have an 8 by 8 um, screen size, um, screen size. 8 pixels by 8 pixels, that means 64 square pixels. Well, what I did was I took the um, the location of the, I took, I took the size, I you take the size of the tile and multiply it by 8. I mean, yeah, you multiply it, sorry, I'm just catching my breath. All right. Back to the thing. Um, since the since our tile is drawn at location 2020, we multiply each one of these locations by eight. So, for example, 20 times eight would be 160, and that would, this is is actual screen resolution. I mean, the screen location of this flag, 160 by 160. So if, let's say if I if I was um to take one 160 and put it here. Uh, so, so it would be the sprite location instead of the tile location. These two would be on top of each other. Now that we got that out of the way. Um, so 160, so the x location is 160 and the y location is 160 right here. So now this second one, since it's 8 pixels, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pixels, this, this thing right here is the actual 160 point. So if I was to draw a point on the screen, that is at the same location, 160, 160, this will be it. But since it's 8 pixels, I want to test if it's within this area. I have to say, if it's between the, the location of 160 and 168, where this is 168, and this is 160. Now this is 167, and this is 160, but I just put 168 for measurement. But this is 167, 
and I mean this is 160 and this is 167. Now the same goes for y. So if this is um, 160, this would be 167 in the, in the y direction. So this tests if the player sprite, if the top corner of the player sprite is located within this area. So when we play it and we and we enter here, over here, it doesn't do anything. But if if we put the, if we put the corner of the screen within this area, instant reaction. The next step that we have here is this hide sprite and free sprite. Now, if you can recall, the the name of our sprite is S. So hide sprite basically takes our sprite and sh um, takes it off the screen. It just literally puts it somewhere else. If you look in the manual, it says that it takes it and puts it at negative 128, one, negative 128, which is like kind of way up here, way off screen, somewhere that 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 the that the um the player can't see. And the free sprite goes into memory and deletes it off the memory. So you have to do hide sprite before free sprite because for some reason. If you just do free sprite, it leaves it on the screen, but it's off of the memory, if you know what I mean. So do, by doing both of these, you effectively delete the sprite off of the screen. And clearing the screen, you clear off all the tiles, meaning that you clear any text that's on the screen, and you clear off any tiles that are on the screen. So since our flag is a tile, we clear it right off. Now this, so this just says you have one, press start to play again, and this has a little loop that keeps running and running and running until we press the start button which is joypad.7 and then we just go to and then it just goes back to the game like I said so it goes straight to the beginning of the program and everything started back over so if I went to the beginning and put CLS we wouldn't have all this dragon left on the left on the screen while the player was playing so if I reload it should work Oh, I didn't, I didn't save it, my bad. So I saved and compiled. Oops. There we go. It's all working as planned. So whenever I go to the flag, the game um, it gives me this message, and you can restart. Now, your challenge is to take this to the, no to the next level. Try to make some sort of interactive game where you have a sprite you might may have a tile or more than one tile or maybe even a sprite that 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 has some type of reaction when you collide with it so if so when you come up with your idea just send me something in the comment section make a video or just tell me about what what you did and yeah that is your assignment this is all the code. I'll try to post this in the description. If not, here it is.